Hello all you fine beautiful people, I'm back here once again with episode number 50 in the 365 Days of Frank Zappa, and today we're going to be looking at any kind of pain for Broadway the Hard Way album. If you're new to the channel, I play a song all the way through, give my thoughts and opinions on it at the end, and as usual, if there's anything you want me to react to, just put it down below in the comments section. I try to get around to everyone's suggestions. So, I, the only song I remember from this is Jesus Thinks You're a Jerk, which I reacted to not that long ago. So I thought, you know what, let's revisit this album. I've heard the album before, but not in, like, a lot of these albums I probably haven't heard in about 10 years. So, really, they're kind of fresh. And the fact that I can't remember a whole heck of a lot from them, because it was a very quick listen. I went through a lot of them, never really dissected them, so I thought, you know what? Let's react to this one, Any Kind of Pain, from Broadway the Hard Way, by Mr. Frank Zappa. Broadway the Hard Way, ladies and gentlemen, Broadway the Hard Way. You are the girl somebody invented in the grim little office on Madison Ave. They were specific, they made you terrific. Red That so you take any kind of pain from me, wouldn't you, baby? You take any kind of pain from me, wouldn't you, baby? Since you haven't got a brain, let me just explain any kind of pain is never. Her nose is petite She looks like she never gets nothing to eat And she dines with actors and Wall Street characters Don't talk nice clothes See her, she blows She's so important cause she gets to do talk shows
now she's come a long way They give her bunches of words she can say When she's in a bold mood Confinement will sound good That's right She's wrong Let's end her song It seems she's everywhere We just can't escape So that was Any Kind of Pain by Frank Zappa. Wow, I really like this song. I really do. It has uh, Frank's uh, quick wit in it, but the rhythm to it is just really good. It feels like almost you're in one of those uh, cheesy little sitcoms or like kind of 80s, for lack of a better word, porn music with the uh, saxophone and everything it just has a very nice it feels calm I guess is the best way to put it it's a very laid-back song there really isn't too much over the topness of Frank like it feels like something that you could say for lack of a better word it's kind of like a more commercial version of Frank and I have to say I actually really enjoy this starting off with uh, him saying Broadway the hard way ladies and gentlemen Broadway the hard way and then describing this girl, you got a girl somebody invented in a grim little office on Madison Avenue. They were specific. They made you terrific. Red lips, blue eyes, blonde hair. Uh, you're all American and darling. They said so. And it kind of, I think, is Frank's way of talking about... Uh, oh, sorry about that. Poochie bumped the table there, but... Uh, it's Frank's way of talking about, I guess, media in general and how they're creating all these people, how a lot of these people, by saying uh, unwise and some of this stuff, is if really they're just created and they don't really have a mind. And it feels like that's Frank's way of being like, uh, you take any kind of pain for me, wouldn't you, baby? You take any kind of pain, wouldn't you, baby? Since you haven't got a brain, let me explain. Any kind of pain is never a maybe. It's really interesting because you hear Frank doing songs like Sexual Harassment in the Workplace, your songs like this, and it kind of interesting to hear Frank do stuff like this. And later in the song, and kind of talks about. Uh, how, okay, she starts off, and it's like talking about how her head's full of bubbles, her nose full of petite. She looks like she never gets nothing to eat. She dines with actors and Wall Street characters. Doll talk, nice clothes, see her. She blows. She's so important because she gets the talk shows. And I like how in the next course, he changes it from baby to Bobby. It's something just wasn't expecting, and it's like, oh, okay, that's that's interesting. And then it goes, any kind of pain is probably your hobby. Uh, then it talks about, it seems she's everywhere. Well, we just can't escape her. Is this a miracle pure evolution? And all the yuppie boys that dream they will rape her. She brings the 80s to a thrilling conclusion. And then goes into... Uh, Yes, yeah, she's every bit as tame, isn't she tender? Then remember the blame. It's really an interesting song looking at a lot of this, just through 
Frank's lyrics. Also, it has a really damn good guitar solo from Frank. Like, I know around this time, some of his guitar solos can sound really choppy, muddled, kind of like, okay, what's going on here? But kind of felt like it was a guitar solo for the sake of a guitar solo. At times, I could be completely wrong, but uh, I feel like this one's very tasty. Very, There's a lot of meat and substance where it feels like it really fits the song and it doesn't go off into crazy Frank just shredding or just guitar soloing for what feels like forever. It feels as if it's contained within the song. And then you get this a little... Uh, flurry of what I'd just call a Frankism, where he just throw random stuff in the song. I, I think just to make sure people are paying attention, and so, let's face it, they wouldn't get bored because they know there's a flurry coming of Frank just doing some weird stuff with his musicians. Uh, I have to say, I really love the vocals. I believe it's Ray White singing this. And it just sounds fantastic. Like, the more and more and more I get back listening to Frank Zappa, especially from this time, it really makes me think, man, he had some really killer stuff near the end of his career while he's alive. But anyway, that's my thoughts and opinions. I'd love to know what you guys think. Please comment down below. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching. This is me here signing out. Peace.